in this video we will learn how to move the ball in the mouse direction so without wasting any time let's dive into unity and create this game I have created a 3d project and I have also created a player script the unity version which I am using is 2018.3 this player script is responsible for the movement of the ball and we don't need these two packages so I will delete it now let's create a new folder I will name it asset and inside this I will create few sprites I will create a square sprite for the block and I will create a square sprite for the player we don't need the direction light so I will delete it and for the camera I will change the clear flag to the solid color and I will change the color to off white and I will change the projection mode to orthographic now let's create an empty game object I will name it player and inside this I will create an empty game object and I will add the sprite render component to it I will drag and drop this circular sprite I will change the color to this color and I will scale it down to 0.5.5 now I will drag and drop the player script on the player game object now inside the player script we have to write the functionality that when we click and drag the ball will move in that direction for that I will create three variable one is is pressed and the second one is is held and the third one will be is released we also need the position so I will create a start position vector 2 variable and end position vector 2 variable now I will create a method which will take into account if the mouse is pressed or held or released. I will name this method check mouse state. Now inside this method if input dot get mouse button down then is press will be true and if input dot get mouse zero that is left button is held will be true and the is release variable is when we release the mouse and when we release the mouse it will change the is release to true now I will create a new method for the direction of the ball I will name it take mouse position now inside this method if is pressed is true we will take the start position and the start position is the mouse position when we click and I will convert it into the world point from the screen to world point method Now if is held is true, we will simply take the current mouse position and if is release is true, we will again take the mouse position and provide the value to the end position. Now after this we have to create a method that will provide the velocity to the rigid body and for that we need to declare a few variables I will create a rigid body variable and I will take the reference of that rigid body in the start and I will create a direction variable which is vector2 type now inside the move player in direction method direction will be equal to the end position minus the start position and we will normalize it this normalize will change this vector to a unit vector now we will provide that direction to the rigid body and I will multiply it with the move speed we have to define the move speed and this move speed is of n type now inside the start I will provide the value 15 and I will call this method in the is released now we have to call these two methods in the update I will copy and paste the check mouse state and take mouse position in the update Now let's add the rigid body to this game object I will change it to kinematic and I will change the collision detection to continuous interpolate to interpolate and I will take the useful kinematic now let's test great now the ball is moving in the direction of the mouse and I want this ball to snap where I click the screen so for that I will create a set start position method and I will take a vector to parameter mm. 
I will simply provide the transform dot position to this start position and I will change the rigid body velocity to zero. I will call this method in the is pressed and I will provide the start position variable here. We have to create one more method. I want the sprite to be visible only when I click the screen. For that I will create set sprite false method and I will take a bool as a parameter. We need to change the sprite so I have to take the reference of the sprite render component. I will take the reference of the sprite render component in the start. Now inside this method dot enable equal to value. We have to write get component in children because there is only one sprite render component on the game object and inside the is pressed I will change the sprite to true and inside the start I will change the sprite to false. It is sr dot enabled equal to value. I have an error in this. I will delete the previous one. Now switch over to unity and let's test. Great, everything is working. Now the ball is moving in the direction of the mouse. And in the next video, we will learn how to create this effect. If you have any suggestion, you can comment down below. And if you have learned something new in this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. You can also share this video to someone who want to learn something new. I will try to upload the next tutorial tomorrow. Till then, have a great day and I will see you in the next video.